Okay, XFL 2020. Uh, Vince McMahon, I just watched the press conference. It's one of those things where um, you want to say, or I want to say good luck to good old Vince. Um, obviously, this is a dream that, you know, back in 2000, 2001, 2002, obviously. I think by 2002, it was long gone, but it's a second chance. And I guess it just proves that no matter how successful you are uh, in business, in life, in money, uh, you might have a dream that's left unfinished or unfulfilled. Look at that uh, crease in my head from those glasses. I might put the, might put the glasses back on because that's not very flattering. Um, yeah, okay. Make a choice, right? Either glasses or not. But uh, with Vince, I guess he's made his choice. And his choice is to give us a second whirly whirl. Um, it's one of those deals where I do like the concept of eight teams uh, he called them semifinals, uh, um, you know, semifinals and then a championship game. Um, you know, who the fuck knows? I'll, I'll say this, uh, you know, here's an opportunity for people out there, uh, you know, myself included, if you've ever wanted to work for Vince McMahon and been kind of, uh, hit a dead end with WWE, Send your application into to Alpha Entertainment. Uh, see what the hell happens. Because uh, obviously, he's going to need some people. Football people would be great. Entertainment people, writers. Um, you know, and I, I think Vince, it's one of those things where he's starting this journey, but he doesn't really have all the answers. And I think one thing that people kept hitting him up on the press conference was, are you going to mandate that people stand for the national anthem? So people are kind of bringing that, Colin Kaepernick, uh, NFL controversy to Vince's table. He wasn't really prepared for that. I mean, he did answer it sort of, but vaguely. Um, it's it's like you can't put words in his mouth, but it felt like he was saying, we are going to stand for the time-honored tradition of, of the national anthem. So it's kind of like Vince has kind of even, you don't want to say he's missed the boat, but maybe he's not informed or followed the story very closely how divisive this national anthem thing has been for football players, especially for the fans, for the owners. It was a big deal, and it's still not really resolved. Headed into the Super Bowl of the NFL, there was one key moment in this press conference that I heard uh, Vince say something to the effect of the other NFL teams. He wasn't saying that he was an NFL team owner, but it's almost like a uh, Freudian slip that he kind of wish he w wishes he was, because uh, I think he was talking about the, talking about the cities, um, and he said something like the other NFL teams. So in, in any event, this is Mike Messier. Look, Vince, you've done a lot for us as wrestling fans, and look, Raw twenty five. I've shat all over it. I think it was bad. Um, <laughs> when they said that Vince was doing a press conference today at three o'clock, I jokingly uh, tweeted. Uh, Vince is going to announce at 3 o'clock that he's canceling his, his subscription to the WWE Network out of protest about how bad Raw 25 was. And that was kind of a joke, a little little joke. But uh, Vince, I do wish you well. And hey, look, I'd, I'd like to work for Vince. You know, I'll, I'll admit it, more so as, as a wrestling guy. But, uh, you know, if that's not meant to be, so be it. But I mean, um, Hey man, you know, good good for Vince. Look, he's I guess if there's anything to come out of this positive for just every anybody, it's he fucking went out to the XFL 17 or 18 years ago. It did not work out. It was uh rushed. He seems like he's he's thought about this for a long time. He's contemplated it. And now he's starting over again and he's he's not uh, using pride as an excuse or, or lack of trying as an excuse. So you got to give it to the guy. Um, and can it be entertaining? Of course it can. I mean, look, how many football players, National Football League players are there? There are qualified athletes to play an amusing game. Now, some of the stuff I'll get into, he's talking about this, this song, this kind of sort of rap song that introduced this thing, safer, quicker, um, some of these key words that everybody wants to hear, simpler. I mean, how 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 are you going to make the game of football simpler unless it's like an eight-on-eight eight game or two-hand touch or, uh, you know, flag football? I mean, if you're going to go there, then that's not 
and he's talking about lowering the, the, the time of the game from three hours, three and a half hours to two hours. How, how, you know, I guess, I guess my question is, how do you do that? Do you make it a 12 minute period, a 12, you know, four 12 minute quarters like basketball? I mean, that's an option. Um, so anyway, uh, I did like that the social media or the, I think he was talking about fantasy leagues and stuff that was kind of brought into it. Um, so we'll see what the fuck happens. My best events, um, you know, does it affect wrestling? Does it affect WWE? Vince would like you to think not, but it kind of like, if you have a CEO or the captain of the ship suddenly has a second ship, then yeah. I mean, and that's, to be honest with you, last time we went through this as wrestling fans, if you're a wrestling fan, it was kind of like being neglected a little bit because you had just... He had literally just gotten WCW and ECW and started doing this XFL stuff and all the power and all the passion of the invasion, like angle, when people talk about the invasion angle of that era would not being so great. Well, if Vincent has full attention on his wrestling home, maybe his, you know, attention wouldn't be divided. So yeah, it does affect wrestling fans. So yeah, what, what can you say? It's Mike Messier, my XFL press conference report, or my opinion. Uh, more questions than answers. He's talking about uh, enforcing good people in the league. Well, who constitutes that? I mean, you know, oh, this is a Hall of Fame WWE that had Jimmy Snuka and other people, Mike Tyson, convicted, okay? So now he's talking about these moral standards for people, and even if you have a, DW, a DUI, he said, you wouldn't play for the XFL. Well, it's going to, I mean, I'm not putting people down, but I'm just saying sometimes these ideal dreams version scenarios of all these goody goody guys playing football, what's the reality of that? Is that enforceable? We'll find out, Vince. Um, I mean, it was a cool little press conference. It seemed like very, I wouldn't say um, powder puff questions, but, but everyone was pretty respectful. I think. I think overall, people appreciate Vince McMahon. Uh, look, even I do. And, and so, so we pick on Vince and we want, you know, but, but here it is. And, and what does this mean for Stephanie and Triple H? I don't know. But Mike Messier, it's my thoughts. More questions than answered. But yeah, XFL 2020. We'll see what the fuck happens. Good luck, Vince.